It is through the truth of God, revealed in the life and death of Christ, that we are won back from enemies of God into friendship and unity with Him. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7, The Remedy Paul, an ambassador of Christ Jesus, appointed by the will of God, to those who have partaken of God's healing remedy, those set right in heart and mind with God through Jesus Christ. God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ pour out their graciousness and peace to you. All praise and honor be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who through Christ has poured out all heaven for our good. For before the creation of this world, he determined that he would send Jesus to heal and restore humankind, deceived by Satan's lies, back to unity with himself. In love, he predetermined that through Christ he would provide the remedy to remove the breach of distrust in our minds and hearts and restore us to full sonship with him, all in perfect keeping with his character, pleasure and will. How amazing is God's glorious character of grace that he has freely given us all heaven in the one he loves. It is through the truth of God, revealed in the life and death of Christ, that we are won back from enemies of God into friendship and unity with Him, and now experience the forgiveness and healing that God has so freely given. All of this is in accordance with the richness of God's character of grace, as He constantly provides everything for our good so that we may grow in true wisdom and understanding. Because Satan's lies obscured the truth about God, making confusing and mysterious what was once plain, God sent Christ to reveal the truth and thereby remove the confusion and mystery by making plain the truth about himself and his will. This truth about God will, in time, under the leadership of Christ, reunite the entire universe in perfect harmony with God. In the person of Jesus Christ, we experience restored unity with God, the culmination of the Father's plan, the result of what God predetermined to do, as he always works for the healing and restoration of his creation. This is in order that we, who were the first to recognize the significance of all that Christ is and all he has done, might bring praise and glory to God by experiencing recreation of Christ-like character within. And you also were reunited with Christ when you accepted the remedy that Christ has achieved. Having trusted God, on the basis of the truth Christ revealed, you have been marked with God's seal. You have been so settled into the truth that you cannot be moved. This transformation of heart and mind is brought about by the Holy Spirit, who is the first installment of our rich inheritance and evidence guaranteeing that our inheritance is secure until we take possession of it, so that God may be praised. Because of this, ever since I heard about your trust in Jesus and your love for all our fellow believers, I have not stopped giving thanks for you or remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, to pour out his spirit of wisdom and revelation upon you, so that you may know him and all he is trying to accomplish. I also pray that your reasoning abilities and conscience may be healed, so that you can discern and understand God's purpose for all humanity, the incredible rich inheritance in store for his children, and God's incomparable power to heal and restore all who trust him.
That life-giving power was seen as the outworking of his true strength which he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in heaven, above all power, rulers, and authority, above all other kingdoms, empires, or governments, and above every title that can be given, now and forever. And God placed everything under Christ's governance, and appointed him the supreme head over all creation, including the church, his body, the showcase of his character, which he fills with every blessing and ability. This was a reading of Ephesians chapter 1 from The Remedy, an expanded paraphrase of the New Testament by Timothy R. Jennings, M.D.